The idea came to me of creating Mazel Tov Cocktail Party many, many years ago. It was actually back around the time when there was the uh, attack on the Bataclan Theater in Paris. And my agent in France said to me, you know, things are so dark now and people really, really need joy. There's um, a lot of polarization and there's a lot of rhetoric that is aimed at dividing us. And as human beings, we really share a lot more in common than we have that divides us. And really this project was created as a vehicle for positivity and, and a celebration of our shared humanity. We need good vibes because it's been a rough year with rough consequences. And to counterbalance all of that, we need some good energy. This music should feel like fun to listen to and to play, and it does. <laughs> I'm having fun playing. This is a crazy time we're living in now, and there's so much bad energy out there. And I feel like the it's musicians' responsibility, the artists' responsibility to bring good vibes and a good feeling um, into the world. It's to really take a look at what it means to be humans, and to attempt to connect in as, as deep a way as we possibly can. And we wanted to do that in a way that was really a good vibes explosion. Each person in Mazel Tov Cocktail Party brings their own very, very special uh, flavor to the project. I'm a Canadian a soul singer from Montreal and I enjoy playing this band because the sounds are so diverse. I get to explore uh, sounds that come from Syria and sounds that come from klezmer music and I also get to kind of dig deeper in some roots um, like French Canadian roots of mine that I don't maybe get to express so much in, in soul music in, in Canada but in this band it's welcomed so that's really fun. Well I'm thrilled to be part of this sound because it gives me a chance to express aspects of my musical perspective and creativity and to bring you know my jazz background and my interest in various um, musical traditions to it. We've been putting together some of this music it's just been so, so much fun to hear all the elements and the, uh, the elements of the salad sort of being put together in the bowl and, um, and I really think we're, uh, we're coming up with something special. The fact that we come from diverse backgrounds adds a unique sound. We get to explore past our comfort zone and uh, I think for us it creates a, a nice little challenge and also for the audience it, they get to hear something new and something different. It's a challenge but uh, it's beautiful. It's just like when you cook and you, you use different spices. We have just such a great time playing with all these different elements. Someone throws some funk in there, somebody throws something Middle Eastern in there, and that's a metaphor for how we feel the world should be. We want to express and portray openness and tolerance in the music itself. It's actually an incredible opportunity 
for us to come back to the Adirondacks, to Saranac, to do the world premiere of this project, Mazel Tov Cocktail Party. Um, Angela Brown and Hill and Hollow Music have welcomed us once again, and they provide an incredible resource for artists and also for the community to gather and hear new things. Many of the tunes were written right here in the North Country in the midst of the pandemic. While we were um, hanging out up here um, at Hill and Hollow Music um, over the summer last year. We were thinking about this wonderful heritage here, uh, North Country, and people square dancing and having fun. And so we decided, uh, Kathleen Tagg and I, to put together a square dance. And I sat there and we were thinking about the, the best tempo to get people up and dancing. And um, we made a North Country square dance. Slide to the left, slide to the right, slide together, we be up all night. Jump around to shitting your tune. There's nothing like a square dance to get you in the mood. Maybe some people would listen to it and go, this doesn't sound anything like the North Country, but it sounds like us, but the North Country was our inspiration. In this project, I play frame drum. It's a traditional Iranian frame drum. His name is Daf. The beautiful thing is that my frame drum, it's not designed for this kind of music, but I, I try to translate, if we say, those musical sentences in, 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 in a way that it be a, a good base for this music. The way that we play music sort of comes from all of these different influences. And so I think, especially when it's global and when people are coming from different geographic locations and different cultures, it really enhances the diversity of the music itself. We, in this project, all feel very strongly that we can bring good energy, a good feeling to the stage, and that sends a message. We can bring catharsis to an audience, bring joy to an audience, and that in turn inspires people to go out and do good things, we hope. We're hoping for this great ripple effect. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.